Our hearts beat to the city streets We begin to feel the fire We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals, they take us higher The night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine We wanna chase the night Wanna dance to the light Pull stars from the sky Just two hearts running wild Never sleep, never stop Every shot from the top We're gonna, we're gonna be Two hearts running wild What a moment. All eyes are on the UFC women's bantamweight champion as she tries to succeed in defending the title yet again. She's one of the best powerful pound fighters, man or woman, on this roster and prohibitively favored yet again in defense of her title. I love her confidence. I just love the way she carries herself as the champion. You don't have to know she's the champ to know she's the champ because when you look at her, she has that star ability about her. And even though she has that, all of it's rooted in her fighting ability. She is one of the best the Octagon's ever seen. And I do think she could be a double champion, but she was sort of reticent to hear that conversation. She is focused on the task in front of her tonight. Raquel Pennington steps inside the Octagon and is ready to fight. Our tale of the tape for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Myra Chitara Bueno Silva. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's bantamweight Champion of the world, Raquel Rocky Pennington. Herb Dean, third Ready man fight. in the octagon Ready. tonight. Good. Having won five in a row in seven of her last nine, here is the UFC Women's Bantamweight contender, Raquel Pennington, has a lot of skills that she brings to the table. Most of her finishes have come by way of submission, but don't sleep on the power, Raquel Pennington, one tough customer and a great example of what hard work can do for a fighter. Pennington in yet another huge spot tonight. So both girls landing right out of the shoot. And mixes in a takedown. Why not? Right beside control, yep. All right, she's in the north-south position. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, gets denied by the she bottom She got fighter. stopped. She got stopped right in her tracks. Great job by the bottom fighter. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Penny. Making all these shots count. Oh. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Pennington. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. 
All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to get their backs so that she can chase her submission or they're gonna lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. Pennington getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Ooh, she's got that in tight. Wow, looks like the arm might end the fight instead she gets out. It was over, and that's so discouraging for the opponent to survive something like that. Hats off to this young lady in her submission defense. Hard to win MMA fights off of your back, but these strikes are useful from the bottom. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. She's trying to pass here, gets denied. Got denied because she's so aware, so on top of the grappling transitions. And very effective with the ground and pound. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, that well, position the versus shot. position. Oh, she's got a triangle, DC. That looks tight. Might be a case of... Oh, saved by the bell. Round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. Back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Place kick there by Pennington. Man, she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch someone never throw less than three. She's throwing at least three every time she enters. Half guard position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. Position for a submission attempt here. Oh, she's got that heel hook tight. She's got great leg submissions, and now she's on the heel hook. She cannot allow her opponent to roll around too much, finding a way out. Oh, she got out. How good is that? Fighters back to their feet here. Oh, how about the slip by her there? I was about to call that out as a land. Her head is moving tonight. It does not take much to really avoid a strike and she does it as well as anybody in the Takedown defense is there. Uppercut lands. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Guillotine jump. Oh, she's out, and I don't mean unconscious. How did she escape? Beautiful ground strike landing. Another submission attempt here. She keeps trying to get the sub going. Ooh, that looks tight. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. You need to work. I'll stand this up. Let's work. All right, well, she continues to try to set up submissions here, but there it is. Gets denied again. Once again, the submission is denied. This is just great submission defense. I mean, she's so locked in. She doesn't give you any chance. It'll be very hard to get her out of here with a submission. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike landing. It's overwhelming. Watch the armbar, but watch the armbar here. Oh, that's tight. Oh, she's going hard for the finish now.
Oh, how about that? Position work, over work, submission. Work, work. Probably a good decision there. She's got her back now, DC, and I don't mean she's like there to support her, right? She is literally on her back and in control of this fight. She's in control of this fight. Look for her to start trying to slide that arm under the neck to finish the fight with a chill. Oh, Pennington's back in the full blow. Two rounds stop, stop, in the books. Stop. did good that round, but I need you to do a little bit better. I need you to avoid that takedown, okay? Let's not worry about the knees. Let's not worry about the strikes. I need you. All right, so there it is, the end of the round. Remarkably, after that sequence there on the ground, DC, talk us through it. We thought the fight was over. We thought it was done. It looked so tight. It looked like she was beat, but she was able to relax, really take a breath, find a way out of such a very dangerous situation. She should be very proud but do not find herself back in it again. Ready. Do All it. right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Connects with a beautiful jab. Oh, that strike is blocked. Straight counter, is it? Oh, that will land it, yep. She slips that left hand there. Oh, she landed another strike to the body there. Very smart to work that body late in the fight when her opponent is fatigued. You didn't see a lot of that from her earlier in the fight. She is certainly getting after it now. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. That one snuck in. Nice strike. there by the champion. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, is that locked in? It's very tight, she's in trouble. Oh, she's out. Oh, Pennington's in half guard now. Full side control now. And now she's in mount. This is a terrible position. Using a lot of good movement. Elbow from the top now by Pennington. Changes her stance yet again. Great job getting to her position. Right into that single collar type. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really lighten her up now. Gets the single leg takedown. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Raquel Pennington. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. in very close and gets to the single call time. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, big knee to the body, man alive! Shooting for the takedown here. Oh, Pennington's got a bruise appearing on that left side now. Gotta think that bodily investment is gonna pay dividends later in the fight. Oh, big elbow. Now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Pennington gets the single leg takedown. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. You gotta slow it down. You gotta be calm, okay? You're being overly aggressive. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round to fight. You're so used to fighting up to three. You've got to get that off that stool 
and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Fast jab lands on it. Oh, she just can get he jump. Serena standing room only, and man, did they get a treat as she gets a huge win and by submission, no less. What a moment. She locked it in, John. She locked in that submission and got her opponent to tap. It was an amazing performance by this young lady, and you can see her rounding into her final form, the fighter that we've expected her to be for a really long time. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 11 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out. And new undisputed USC bantamweight champion of the world. All right, so an incredible result in this sold-out venue tonight. We have a new UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She is just spectacular. A great fighter, a great champion.